Hey, welcome back to Quick Picks. So if you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel as well as check out respiratorytherapyrc.com for any updated eBooks. So without further ado, let's begin with patient assessment. When you are assessing a patient, don't forget to observe the patient. You walk into the room, look at the patient. What's their color? Are they pale? Do they have abdominal distension? Do they look comfortable? Always, always, always observe your patient. You want to listen to their breath sounds, auscultate, right? Are they clear? Are they wheezing? Do they have ronchi? Do they have absent or diminished breath sounds? Do they have crackles? And all of these will lead to some kind of treatment or therapeutic intervention if they have any abnormal findings. Look at their breathing pattern. Are they tachypnic? Are they labored? Do they look like they're struggling to breathe? Do they have pursed lip breathing, right? So always put this in your observation of what their breathing pattern looks like. Check their vital signs. Are they tachycardic? Do they have a high respiratory rate? Do, I, do they have abnormal breathing? Are they saturating well? Do they have a good SpO2, right? Is their blood pressure okay? Do they have low blood pressure, high blood pressure? Always check vital signs. You always want to look at the chest x-ray, okay? So you want to look and see if they have atelectasis. Do they have a pneumothorax? Maybe a small pneumothorax. Pleural effusion. Always, always, always check ET2 placement on the chest x-ray to make sure that it's in the correct place. Do they have consolidation? Are there other things that you need to do in order to improve the chest x-ray, right? So always check your chest x-ray. And secretions are the last thing you want to check, right? So color, what color are the secretions? The viscosity, how thick are they? And the amount, are they having copious amounts of secretions or small to scant amounts of secretions? Secretions are a very important thing to look at, okay? So I hope this short video gave you kind of a starting point for your patient assessment and as you go along and gain more experience you'll start assessing more things and please don't forget to subscribe and check out respiratorytherapyrc.com thank you have a great day